Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. How are you doing? Good fine, teacher. And you? I'm very well. Thank you for asking. Okay, teacher. Hello, Carla. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How do you evening. feel today? It's great. Great. Oh, nice. Yes. It's good to know. <laughs> Welcome. Thank you. All right. Hi, Darwin. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How do you good feel evening. today? It's a good day. You had a good day. Excellent. I like, I like to know that. <laughs> and you? I had a great oh. day. Too. Yeah, a, bless, a very blessed day. Don't rain in your house. Sorry? Don't rain in your house. Mm, yes, in the afternoon, but a little bit, not much. Uh, yes, it was just a little bit. Yeah, not much. But it, but around the area, in your house. Excuse me. You said in your house. What? In, in my house, in this moment, is rain. Oh, really? It's, rain. it's raining cats and dogs. <laughs> Yes. It's raining cats and dogs. What is that? It's raining cats and dogs. Cats and dogs? Uh -huh. It's raining cats and dogs. Raining cats and dogs. Yeah, cats and dogs. Está lloviendo super fuerte. Yes, that's right. You don't say está lloviendo gatos y perros, right? No, you say está lloviendo bastante, okay? It's raining cats and dogs. Yeah, it's an idiom. Uh -huh. It's una frase idiomática. It's an idiom, all right? It's to say that it's raining a lot, okay? Para decir que está lloviendo mucho. So you say, it's raining cats and dogs in my house. <laughs> okay. Yeah. yeah, so you can say it, okay? It's raining cats and dogs. It's raining cats and yeah. dogs. Cats and dogs. That's yeah. right. Hi, Adam. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How do you feel today? Good, teacher. Oh, nice. It's good to see you one more day. Mm -hmm. Yeah. <laughs> okay. <laughs> it's good to see you. It's like, es, es bueno verle. Okay. It's good to see you. You can Thank say, you. okay, very good. Hi, Osmin. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How do you feel? Okay, thank you for asking, teacher. All right. Uh, it's very good. Oh, nice. Very good. Yeah. Hi, Asalia. Good night. Good evening, teacher. Ah, good nah, night, nah. todavía no. Ah. <laughs> Dentro de dos horas. <laughs> I'm kidding, I know. Por eso, por eso lo estoy diciendo, molestando. I'm kidding. Okay. Thank because, you, I, I, because I know you always say good evening around, I mean, good night at about 9.50, right? You say good night. And I say no, lo no, sospe... not yet. Lo sospeché de un principio, teacher. <laughs> yeah, like a Chapulín Colorado, right? Or who is it? Yeah, Chapulín Colorado is the one yes. who says that. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Hi, Suma. Hello, good evening. Good evening. How do you feel? Good. Good. It was nice. a productive day. It was a very productive day. Yes. <laughs> oh, nice. That's excellent. Very good. Hi, Ernesto. Hi, teacher. How are you today? I'm fine. Oh, yeah. nice. You see, we have a new classmate, Ernesto. <laughs> we have a new classmate. Ernesto is a new, is, is a new classmate. He's new in the class today. Oh, sorry, sorry. <laughs> I'm kidding. I'm kidding, eh, broma. I'm kidding. I'm just kidding. All right, so uh, let's start. And let me pass the attendance so we start uh, with the class, all right? So, but first, uh, welcome everyone. Bienvenidos todos, welcome everybody. Uh, so let's start uh, the class with the attendance, okay? So please say here, I'm here, present, 
over here when you listen to your name, okay? Ada? Present. Very good. Adriana? Not yet. Ana Michelle? Yeah, she's connected, I think, but she's on the way home. Angela? 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 Aún se ve, aún se ve que se está conectando, Angie. Okay, very good. Azalia? Present. Very good. Darwin? Present teacher. Flor? Flor is not connected yet. Okay. Floria? Here. Okay. Carla? Present. Margarita? I'm here. Very good. Are you okay, Margarita? Yes, teacher. I'm working. Ah, okay. Yeah, because I, I heard you a little bit like, like if you have the flu or something. <laughs> no, no. <laughs> All right. Uh, Mayra? Present. All right. Mayra texted too. Okay. Thank you for the text, Mayra. Miguel? Okay. Present teacher. Nelson? Present teacher. Very good. Ophelia? Here teacher. Osmin? Present teacher. Rafa? Present. Rosa? Sandra? Good evening, teacher. Hello. Hello. Present. Hello, Angela. Yes. Welcome. Present. Who said present? Uh, Sandra. Present. Okay, Jancy. Present, teacher. Tulma. Here. Okay, very good. No olvidemos siempre la cámara encendida. Solamente los que han pedido permiso, verdad? Algunos que sí me han comentado que van a estar de oyentes porque van para casa en ese momento. Elwin. Ingrid. Lourdes, Oscar, and Susana. All right, very good. Okay, uh, so I see more people connected in this moment. Okay, so please welcome everybody. Welcome again. All right. Creo que le vamos a dar premio al que, al que no ha, se ha conectado tarde ninguna vez y que ha estado presente en todas las asistencias. Okay, le vamos a dar un premio. <laughs> Vamos a ver, let's see. <laughs> let's see, let me see. Vamos a ver quién. Una cena, una cena a domicilio, teacher. Ah, tenemos solo una persona nada más. Okay, we have only one person que no se ha conectado tarde ninguna vez y ha, ha estado presente las sesiones completas, okay? Guess who it is? Adivinen quién es. Guess who it is? Angie. Darwin. No. Ah, Darwin. Yeah. Yes, it's Darwin. Darwin. It's Darwin, correct. Oh, yeah. Not so far. It's Darwin. Bravo. Yeah, he's the one. Compartamos la cena. Pero es su premio. <laughs> and he's a great student. Oh my, Asalia is close, but Asalia is close. Asalia, only one time she got connected late. Asalia solo una vez se conectó tarde. Let me see here. Yeah, Asalia. Okay. And then we... Vamos a pelear el premio. Yes. Ah. <laughs> You're in the fight. Ah, and also Osmin too. Osmin. Osmin is the same with Asalia, right? Solo una vez se ha conectado tarde. Okay. Congrats. Congratulations. Felicidad. De ahí los demás ya tienen una falta o se han conectado tarde más de dos veces. Dos o más de dos veces. Okay. So, um, mi teacher, mi teacher, en este módulo sí es fallado por ciertas cosas ahí, pero trato la manera de. Ah, okay. Ya. Yep. But Angela, solo dos llegadas tarde. Solo la de hoy nada más y otro y día. día. Sí, es cierto, pero yes. que ese día fue imposible porque tenía una, una, una cosa de emergencia. De yeah, it, it's, okay. it's okay. I know you are very responsible. Don't worry. Okay. I know you are very responsible. Everybody is responsible, but I know you have some, some things sometimes, okay? Because of work or okay. because of many things, okay? Pero felicidades a los que se han conectado temprano. Bueno, en el caso de Darwin, que todos los días ha estado pendiente siempre. Los que solo una vez se han conectado, conectado tarde, perdón, felicidades también, congratulations, ok. Dos veces. Okay. Yes, dos veces, yeah, still, todavía, ok, congratulations, too. también felicidades. Thank you, for Asalia, Melanie, and Angela, right, ok. And for the others, de, de oh, lo mejor decir, do your, do your best. <laughs> do your best, all right, very good. 
Uh, okay, so let's um, let's go to today's um, content. And um, just just before we go to today's content, uh, we have um, I have some questions for you. Okay, I have some questions for you. Uh, can you please look at the camera? Don't look at the material. Don't look at the photocopy. Don't look at anything. Okay, look at the camera, please. Asalia is not looking at the camera in this moment. <laughs> I want everybody looking at the camera because I have some questions for you. But I want to make when sure. The, when the not the but uh, okay, but I want to make sure you are not looking at the photocopy, okay? Or the material digitally or okay, good. So question number one. How do you say reclutador? Uh, let me see. Aha, uh -huh. okay. Um, coordinador de reclutamiento in English. How do you say? Coordinator. Ah, recruitment coordinator. Very good. Recruitment coordinator. Yes. How do you say especialista de beneficios in English? Beneficial specialist. Okay. Beneficial or benefit? Beneficial. Benefit. 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 Specialist. Okay. Benefit. Specialist. Okay. Benefit. Specialist. Very good. How do you say um, generalista de recursos humanos? Human resource generalist. Human resource generalist. Generalist. Or HR generalist. Very good. Ah, yeah. Well, good. Not viendo la fotocopia ahorita. I see some people looking at the photocopy right now. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, how do you say assistente administrativo in English? Administrative assistant. Very good. Administrative assistant. Administrative assistant. 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 Very good. How do you say uh, especialista de compensaciones? Compensation analyst. Compensation. Compensation. Specialist. Specialist. Okay. Compensation specialist. Very good. Compensation specialist. That's very good. And the last one. How do you say consultor de gestión de talentos? Consultant talent management. Ah, exactly. Talent management consultant. Talent. Management uh, consultant. Consultant. Exactly. The, pronun the pronunciation is consultant. Consultant. Okay. Consultant. Yes. Consultant. consultant. All right. Oh my God. You are. You see. You are very good students. You didn't see the photocopy and you know the vocabulary. Okay. That's perfect. Very good. Okay. That's excellent. You didn't copy, right? You didn't see the material. I trust you. Confío en ustedes. I trust you. Okay. <laughs> All right, very good. <laughs> so only some, okay, solo algunos lo vieron. Only some, look at the material. Oh. Only yeah. some, all right. Good. Uh, now listen, uh, I have some um, questions for you here, all right, uh, on this slide, okay, on this PowerPoint slide. I have two questions, okay? Uh, since yesterday, uh, we talked about human resources, positions, and duties or activities in human resources in the human resources department okay or area so i have two questions about that question number one is how many people are there in human resources in your workplace talking about your company okay so do you know this how many people are there in human resources in your workplace you can say what five people or seven people or two people i don't know mention their position, okay? And the second question is, what does a candidate need to apply for those positions, for the positions above? For example, if we have an administrative assistant, what does a candidate need to apply for that position, for the administrative assistant, okay? And maybe you can say um, he or she needs two years of experience, a bachelor's degree, I don't know, all right? So it's, it's your answer, okay? So do you have any question or it's clear what you have to do? Tienen preguntas o está claro? It's clear. All right, so yeah. let's take some time uh, to answer the questions, please, all right? So first question, I mentioned the positions of the people in human resources in your company, okay? And the second question? 
if you have four positions, for example, in human resources in your company, uh, what does a new candidate need to apply for, for those positions, okay? You can say for administrative assistant, you need to have one year of experience, uh, a bachelor's degree or a high school degree, I don't know, okay? Y no hay departamento de recursos humanos, Chichi. 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 Chichi, the microphone oh, is off. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Okay, tell me, tell me, Sandra. Este, si no hay departamento de recursos humanos. That means you are human resources. You what? are human, uh, then where, uh, I mean, what about the procedures of human resources? How do you do that? ¿Cómo se hacen los procesos de recursos humanos? Who does it? Lo hace el jefe, el gerente. Okay, then you. O manejo administrativa. Okay, then you, then you can say, uh, we don't have human resources, but the manager, okay, does and then you mentioned the, the activities okay the the for example but the manager uh, hires new employees or interviews a uh, new candidates i don't know okay yeah okay okay siempre no olvidemos cámara encendida por favor please don't forget excepto los que han pedido permiso los demás ya saben verdad ya se dio la indicación desde el principio así que so please let's follow the instruction Al menos que tal vez algunos están buscando vocabulario, me imagino, ¿verdad? En su teléfono. ¿Es esa es la razón? ¿Me confirman, please? ¿You confirm, please? Exactly. Ok, ok, ok. No problem. Teacher, um, mention the position. Um, yeah, the, po the position of, of the people of human resources in your company. Okay. Ah, okay. Yeah, okay. for example, the administrative, the, you can say an administrative assistant, a talent management consultant, or a human resources specialist. I don't know. All right. ¿Cuántas áreas, por decirlo así? No, no, the positions, the positions, the works, las posiciones o los trabajos que hay dentro de recursos humanos. ¿Qué personas ah, okay. están? And what's their position, right? Uh, no sé. <laughs> ok. Think, think a little bit. Try, try to use the positions uh, we have, we started, ok? A talent management consultant, compensation, um, what compensation uh, specialist? I don't know. Yes, somebody said teacher. Who said teacher? Teacher. Yep. En cuanto yep. llegue a la casa me me incorporo. Okay. Okay. Thank you. All right. Maybe, uh, maybe in your company, uh, there are other positions, right? Not the positions we studied, okay? It's okay, no problem, okay? You can mention other positions if you have different positions in human resources in your company, okay? Okay, teacher. No. Thank you. 
Sí. Perfecto. No, me la agarró. The second question, teacher, uh, is uh, related with the first. Exactly. It's about yeah. the positions. It's about the positions in question number one. For example, tell me one position you have in question number one. Uh, um, HR generalist. Okay, HR generalist. Uh, then, uh, imagine um, this position is available. Okay, mm -hmm. está disponible. Okay, it's available. This position is available. What does a candidate need to apply for that position? In this case, for human resource okay. generalist. Okay. Uh, for example, yes. you okay. say he needs to have five years of experience, or he needs to have a bachelor's degree or a high school degree. I don't know. All right. Or, okay. Okay. Knowledge he needs to be organized. For example, he needs to have knowledge about the position. I don't know. Okay, it's your. You know better. Okay, you know better. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Thank you. Okay. ¿Te puedo pagar en Bitcoin? Ahí, te, ahí tengo 30 dólares en Bitcoin. Fíjense que es mío. Pero si va a estar, ¿no? Si de pagar, dollars for Bitcoin. <laughs> oh my goodness.
Okay, I'm gonna give you five more minutes, okay? Five more minutes. Maybe you don't have to mention uh, because of time, right? Maybe you can mention like three positions, right? And then you mention uh, what a candidate needs to apply for, for the positions you mentioned in question number one, okay? Eh, ¿Para qué posición sería, teacher? Para recursos humanos. Yes, that's right. Okay. I mean, okay. you're, you're talking about question number two, right? Yes. Yes. In question number two, what you need is to specify, right? Okay. Um, the, the things, okay? Or the, the skills, okay? Or the abilities the person needs for the positions in question number one, okay? or the degrees, I don't know, okay? Diplomas, certificates, I don't know, something, okay? For department recursos humanos. Human, human resources. resources, exactly, for human yeah. resources. So in question number one, you mentioned the positions, right? Okay, you have in your company. And in case a person wants to apply for one of the positions in question number one, Okay, so in question number two, you need to specify what, what he or she needs, lo que esa persona necesita para aplicar, okay, what that person needs to apply. Maybe you can write like uh, three requirements for each position, okay? Pueden escribir uno, dos o tres requisitos para cada posición, two or three requirements for each position. And I remember that I gave you some vocabulary, right? I guess it's on page 29 that you have some vocabulary about that. On page 29, I think. Let me check. On page 30 is that you have some vocabulary, okay? On page number 30, you have some vocabulary you can use, all right?
if you want, make a screenshot of the questions, okay? Hagan una captura de las preguntas. Make a screenshot of the questions, please. So you have the questions, okay? Pero si las han escrito, no hay ningún problema. If you have them on your notebook, no problem, okay? If not, make a screenshot, okay? Hagan una captura. Make a screenshot of the questions, please. Ready? Okay. Yes? Ready. All right, very good. Okay, just let me make the screenshot too. So I have the questions too. Okay, very good. So um, now, I mean, it's okay with the information you have, okay? If you have only two positions and the information about two positions, no problem, okay? But I can give you more time, all right? Good. Now listen, uh, the idea is to listen to your classmates, all right? To listen to your classmates, but to listen, you need to ask the questions, okay? So the question, uh, question number one is, how many people are there in HR in your workplace? Mention their position, okay? Repeating, how many people are there in HR in your workplace? Mention their position. Question number two, what does a candidate, candidate, all right? What does a candidate need to apply for those positions, okay? What does a candidate need to apply for those positions, all right? Very good. Now, um, now listen, the idea is that we go to breakout rooms then, and then in the breakout rooms, you ask the questions to each other, okay? For example, if I practice with Rosa and Miguel, I can ask Rosa, Okay, my questions, and Rosa asks Miguel, and Miguel asks me, all right? Yeah? Any question before we go and practice? No. No, no, right? Okay, very good. So let's go and practice then. So make sure everybody uh, practices in the group, all right? So please take turns, tomen turnos, take turns. All right, let's go to practice. Um, what, what does a candidate need to apply for those positions? I has I know I knowledge and experience in personal in manner care manager 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 okay okay now ask i don't know gloria whatever you want <laughs> okay <laughs> okay how many people are there in hr in your workplace 
Okay. There are only two people in the human resources at my workplace. Okay, uh, mention the position for Okay, uh, the human resources generalist and uh, benef benefit specialist. Okay, and what does a candidate need to actually apply? Apply for the position? Mm, I don't know exactly. But I'm sure that needed to have a bachelor degree and a university degree, a graduate graduated especially in psychology, with two or three years of experience. Okay. Okay. Ophelia asks uh, Gloria. Okay. I hope many I people are there in your Word place mention I dare position. In my in my in my company, only one person in head of the human resource department. Okay. I what does I candidate I need of experience in similar position. Two years in similar position. Yes, two years in in similar position. Yes. Okay. Okay. Ask the question, Rafa. To Sandra. Okay. Sandra, how how many how many how many people are there in HR department in your company? My, I, pardon. <laughs> For me? <laughs> yes. Yes. <laughs> okay. And in my company, I don't have a human resource uh, department, but the those positions. Okay, uh, the candidate by the old position, by the old position, have a bachelor degree mm -hmm. first. Next, full-time job, full-time full -time job. Uh, in, in, in the case of management and headquarters manager management and headquarters the position headquarters no sé si está bien así la pronunciación teacher headquarters headquarters okay uh, have three years of, of experience uh, headquarters. Second, headquarters headquarters okay yes. thank you teacher okay uh, this is necessary, have three years of, of, of experience. Uh, has a degree in management. Second, third, uh, maintain knowledge of legal requirements and government reporting regulate, regulation affecting human resource. Again, maintain knowledge of legal requirements and government reporting regulation affecting human resource okay this is this is is this is by the this this position the position of assistant is necessary only have a one year or exp of experience in similar position mm -hmm. uh, work on holidays organized by the by department That's all, that's all. Oh, that's all, okay. Yes, yes. Um, T-shirt. Yeah. Uh, T-shirt. Uh, um, I need a writing for a activities. In, in, in human resource? Mm, no, no. I mean, you don't have to take notes, only listen. Okay. Only listen to your classmate. Oh. 
Yeah. Okay. Uh, you, uh, he, for this activity, you are not reporting. Okay, perfect. Very good. Okay, oh. finish this teacher. Uh, Jancy is driving, right? I think. Yes, he's driving, not, not participate. Yes, okay. All right. All right. Just let me visit another group then, and then we, we go to the main session, okay? okay? Okay. Thank you, teacher. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Hello, teacher. Hi, teacher. <laughs> <laughs> in, in this moment, practice our vocabulary. <laughs> All right, I can yes, see that. Yes. Uh, did you finish I, I practicing the that. questions? Yes, yes ah, okay. I finished that. Okay, perfect. We finish. Okay, I it's need, okay. You need? I need lo, a lot of vocabulary <laughs> in my case. <laughs> yes. Um, <laughs> Actually, uh, there are nowadays, it's very easy to get ways to learn vocabulary. You have different applications, for example, to learn vocabulary, okay? I can yes. recommend you some applications if you want, or websites. For example, teacher? Sorry? For example? Uh, I, I will have to look for them. I have some, some applications, but these applications are for advanced English. But I can look right. for some applications for basic or intermediate English, okay? And then I can share. Y luego les puedo compartir. I can share later. Okay, teacher. All right. Yes, okay. Okay. Thank so. you. Okay. Thank you, teacher. All right. <clears throat> and you, Susan? I work in laboratory of Spine. We made a medicine. ¿En dónde, perdón? Laboratory of Spine. Ah, oh, yeah. yeah. Uh -huh. yes. in, 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 in el centro. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Center for Barrio Lourdes. Yes, yes. Uh -huh. In in your your position is about uh, uh, human resources. Uh, right? I am an I am analysis commercial. Ah okay. it's, a, it's a new it's a new position for me. Oh. I have a, Four months. <gasps> Four months, and I am learning a lot. A lot. I am learning. Yes. Yes. All right. I'm sorry for the interruption, Susana. I know you were talking about your job position. I'm sorry about that. All right. Very good. Uh, so, everyone, thank you very much uh, for uh, taking the time to talk about the positions. Uh, in human resources in your workplace, okay? Uh, the idea is to expand, okay, your vocabulary about human resources, okay? This is very important, okay? In jobs, this is very important, okay? So I just have a question. I mean, not, not the questions I ask you, you were practicing, a different question, okay? And the question I have is the following, pay attention to this. I will give you two minutes to think, okay? I ask the questions, Two minutes to think and then I select or voluntarily you answer the question, okay? The question is, do you think um, it's important, I mean, do you think experience is important to apply for a job? Do you think experience is important to apply for a job? Two minutes, okay, think. Don't tell me, don't tell me now, think, two minutes. Think about your answer. Think, okay, think about the answer. The question is, do you think experience is important to apply uh, for a new job or for a job position? Teacher, I have a question. Yes? How is the best way to say uh, no. How is, the best, how is the best way to use search, search or find? I am searching for a for a new can, candidate, candidate. Okay. Or are, or I finding? Uh, no, the things that find is like when you find something, okay? Yeah. When you find something, money, for search, example, or, or someone. Search for something or someone. Exactly. 
Fine. Okay. Fine is like when you are uh, when you found something. Okay. Uh, can be uh, anything. Okay. Or maybe someone. And look for or search for is like to to keep like looking for something for a job position, for example, or for information. Mm -hmm. Is it clear, Rosa? Sorry, my, my connection was really bad. I'm sorry. But Rosa, is it clear? Fine yes, is yes. like, oh, okay, perfect. Yes, yes. Okay, mm -hmm. very good. Yes, I, ha I have that, but I looking in the dictionary and I, and I, I got the answer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you found the difference? Yes, yes. Okay. The things that find in Spanish, right? Find is encontrar, okay? And search for is buscar, okay? That's the difference in Spanish, okay? I said two minutes, right? Are you ready? I gave you more than two minutes, I think. Are you ready? The question yes, is, teacher. do you think experience is important when you apply for a new job or to apply for a new job? And that's the question here, okay? All right, it's let's important. see. Uh, it's important. Okay, let's start. Okay, I can see Miguel wants to participate. So let's listen to Miguel and then we can listen to other volunteers. Okay, Miguel? Okay, teacher. Uh, yes, uh, yes, this is important because the experience has made you like situation that could arise in the future. Future. Very interesting. Very interesting. All right. Thank you very much, Miguel. Very interesting. Okay, All right. Okay. Any other volunteer? Yes, teacher. Okay, Osmin. Me, teacher. Okay, Osmin and then Lourdes, okay? Okay. Uh, yes, teacher. Uh, I am saying the experience is important uh, because the world of the employees is very good. All right. Yeah, it's, yeah. it's totally, yeah, totally true, all right? So uh, the work of the employees can be much better. That's right, because of their experience. Okay, thank you, Osmin. I get your point. Thank you very much. Okay, Lourdes? Okay, thank you. Uh, for me, it's necessary. Necessary. Yes, but it's... Uh, in many situations, you are uh, in many situations. You in your new job is necessary to have a basic knowledge uh, for this position that you apply. And when you start in this position, you get experience. Uh, all all uh, start with uh, maybe zero knowledge but uh, or zero experience uh, in my case i don't have experience in my first job but uh, one person contratar he she hired me and 
uh, and she gave me a, a new uh, opportunity um, for she uh, or for uh, for her uh, for she for she for her for her uh, I I have four years uh, experience in my position and I thankful to to her all right uh listen uh this opinion is very uh, i like uh Lourdes opinion that's very interesting right now listen according to Lourdes, uh it depends on the job position right that that's that's your opinion right Lourdes? it depends on the job position right yes you're yes. saying you're saying that for some positions experience is important but for some other positions experience is not so important you yes you need basic uh, knowledge. Right? Yes, but in practice, uh, maybe you don't have, okay. and you only need a, a opportunity. Exactly. So by the, the knowledge. Everybody starts with no experience or with zero experience, yes. right? Everybody. Okay. Yes. So we, we started our jobs with no experience. Okay. I like it. Very good. Uh, do we have any other opinion? Oh, okay, Rosa, Rosa again. Okay. Uh, I think that the spirits, uh, like lower the say, say uh, is important. Sometimes it's important, but some in other situations, uh, oh, how can I say? Sometimes I search that word. Sometimes it is double edged sword because it depends uh, about the, the, the salary or the, the money that you're going to earn. Because if you have many years in experience, um, maybe the, the, the personal and the human resources doesn't want you because they think, oh, I have to pay more money because has many experience, <laughs> I think, I think, or maybe because I, I listen many experience about some friends. No, they, 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 don't, they don't need me because I have much experience and they need a, a how do you say, a, a rookie, a rookie? <laughs> yeah, they need a rookie and they need a person without, uh, uh, few years of experience, I think. All right, very good. I, I like that opinion too. Okay, thank you very much, Rosa. That, that's right. I, I totally agree with Rosa in this. Okay, thank you, Rosa. Uh, Rafa, what's your opinion? I can see you raising your hand. Rafa? Okay. For me, it depends uh, of the position. Uh, not always, but I think for assistant or auxiliary position, I think that experience is not necessary. But anyway, uh, some ac academic degree or diploma related to the position. Okay, very good. Okay, but, I, but for me, uh, for the leadership or management level, I think it's necessary to have experience. Okay. But uh, we have to consider it what type of experience, for example, a teacher. Um, we, I, I could be a teacher, como puedo decir, uh, puedo tener 20 años that classes i can have 20 years you can say of experience okay but if i i never prepare the new te technology in the new te technology is the my experience uh, doesn't count doesn't count yeah doesn't count okay no cuenta doesn't count Oh, okay. I, I, I really like that. I really like that. Okay, now, now listen. 
um, taking uh, Rafa's opinions in consideration, I have a second question, okay? This is for anybody, it's, in, it's, in, it's like, I mean, it's optional, right? It's not an obligation to participate, it's just voluntary, all right? It's just voluntary to participate in this activity. Good. The next question is, what is more important, qualifications or experience? Qualifications oh. are like skills, okay? Skills about the job you are applying for or abilities you have or you possess about the job you are applying for or experience, okay? So what is more important, qualifications or experience? What do you think? For me, for me two, qualification and experience. Okay, uh, okay, very good. So for, um, for Osmin, qualifications and experience are important, okay? Thank you, Osmin. Uh, do we have, okay, Asalia? Yes, Asalia? It it uh, depends on the area. Okay, it depends on the area. Okay, let's both, say. Both okay. are important teachers. Both are important. All right. Applications because yes. the students you got it with the time. Okay, but but uh, but at the beginning, uh, you were saying that experience is important, but what about qualifications? <laughs> 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 I mean, I don't know. <laughs> you don't know. Uh, yeah, yeah. Um, I mean, actually, as, as Alia said, the two of them are important, okay? Because sometimes, I mean, sometimes you can have experience like 20 years, as Rafa said, but what if you don't have the abilities, all right? Because you can have 20 years and you don't have the abilities for that position. I know many teachers like that. In the public area, uh, I, I, I know many teachers who have like 30 years of experience, but they don't manage technology. Uh, they continue with the old strategies, with the old techniques. I mean, they don't update, no se actualizan. So they have the experience, but they don't have the qualifications for today's education, right? And the same happens for different positions. So qualifications and experience are like together, right? Are together, they work together. Okay, thank you very much. Do we have any other opinion for this? No, no more opinions. Okay, thank you. Thank you very much for your participations. Okay, I really appreciate that. Okay, I really appreciate that. All right, very good. So, and so now let's go to uh, another activity. And for the next activity, we have some discussion questions, okay? And question number one is how this is about your workplace, right? This is about your workplace. Question number one is, how often are trainings, trainings, what is trainings? Entrenamientos. Entrenamientos, capacitaciones, we can say even, okay? How often are trainings scheduled in your company? You can say, trainings are never scheduled in my company. Or you can say, Trainings are uh, scheduled three times a month in my company. I don't know, right? So how often? How often? With what frequency, all right? Con qué frecuencia? And second question. Do you, personal, okay? Do you attend trainings? Do you go to trainings? Do you take the trainings? And you explain. You can say, uh, do you attend trainings? Yes, I do. Explain. Oh, yes, this month um, I went to three trainings, for example, okay? And I learned many things, you can say, I don't know, all right? It's your explanation, okay? All right, so please take a moment and answer the two questions. For question number two, you need to explain your answer, okay? These questions are on page number 33, okay? Page number 33. 33. Page number Okay, uh, while you are working, I will pass you the attendance, okay? Mientras trabajan, pasaré la asistencia. I will pass you the attendance. 
Okay. Ada. Present. Adriana. Ana Michelle. Present. Angela. Present, teacher. Azalia. Present. Darwin. Present, teacher. No, no, no. Flor. Gloria. Here. Carla. Present. Very good. Margarita. I'm here. Very good. Do you continue at work, Margarita? Mayra. Present. Very good. Miguel. Present teacher. Nelson. Present. Ofelia. Present teacher. Osmin. Present teacher. Rafa. Present. Sandra. Rosa before Sandra. Okay, Present Rosa. Teacher. Okay. Present. Present. Okay, very good. Jancy. Present teacher. All right. Sulma. Sulma. Present. Ah, okay. Very good. Ingrid. Lourdes. I'm here, teacher. Oscar. Present. And Susana. Present. Very good. Okay, continue answering the questions, please.
Okay, I'll give you uh, two more minutes, all right? Two more minutes. Are you ready? Yes. Are you ready? Yes. Yes. Yeah, yes. yeah, yeah. Every, everybody's ready? Everybody or okay, let I will I will select some people, okay, because I want everybody to participate. And I will select some people uh, who haven't participated in the previous activities, all right? So uh, let's see, Oscar. Are you ready, Oscar? Yes, I do. All right, Oscar. How often are trainings uh, scheduled in your company? Three, three times a month. All right. Uh, do you attend or take trainings? Attend the trainings. All right. Explain. Explain. Can you explain about, about the trainings or what you do, what you learn? I don't know. Okay, okay. And we have a training and some, some company provide the software. Okay. For the process, yes. And they make a change. Any change, uh, they give, they, they have a meeting with us twice a month. Yes. Okay. To explain the change. All right. Okay, excellent. Thank you very much, Oscar. Okay, thank you very much. All right. So uh, basically, you attend or you have trainings twice or three times, you said a month. Three times a month. Three times a month. And you said yes. you attend trainings, right? Yes. All right. Uh, who plans the trainings in your company? Who plans the trainings? Who schedules the trainings? I have planned the training teacher. Uh, in your case, Carla, you have to plan the trainings. Very good. Okay, that's excellent. So basically, yes. you are like, you, you do everything, right? Okay. Uh, okay. Hold on. Uh, we are going with Carla after. 
And Oscar, in your case, who plans the trains? Uh, I'm planning the trains. You plan the trains. Yes. All right. Okay, very good. Thank you very much, Oscar. So please, everyone, uh, go to reactions and please, let's give Oscar a thumbs up, please. Everyone go to reactions and let's give Oscar a thumbs up. All right, thank you, Oscar. Okay, I can see Carla wants to participate in this activity. All right, Carla. <clears throat> Um, okay. How often are trainings scheduled in your company? In my company, when Esther is years, uh, my line manager uh, sent me my pro, my schedule for training for all years. Like for how example, many? All... Like how many approximately? How many trainings? Mm, seven trainings. A year? Four years. Okay. Yes, a year. Plus okay. other training um, uh, in, institutional? Institutional. Institutional training. Institutional trainings. course. Institutional okay. course for, for, exam, for example, a business code, ethical business code, um, or others be internal be internal course okay mm -hmm. okay very good uh do you attend trainings yes yes it's mandatory attend all train oh my goodness all right very good i like it i like it because it's mandatory it's not optional and you know many no. people many people when they say it's optional they prefer not to attend trainings right May, for example in no, the yeah, yes. It's mandatory and have a um, deadline. Oh, uh, to, to, finish to, to finish the course for course. the training. Very, yeah. very interesting, very interesting. Yeah. Okay, thank you very much, Carla. So please, everybody, go to reactions and let's, let's give Carla a thumbs up. Go to reaction, reactions and let's give Carla a thumbs up. Okay. I, I prefer trainings to be mandatory because when, when they are optional, some people say, no, I mean, it's optional. I prefer not to go, right? So I prefer trainings to be mandatory. I don't know you, right? What do you prefer, mandatory or optional? Mandatory. Mandatory, right? It's better. <laughs> mandatory. <laughs> uh, Sandra, what do you prefer? Yeah? Apart, yes. Uh, we have a plan of training, but yeah. to have a plan, um, a collaboration team, uh, que in this case is other kind of collaboration that is not in your country, is, is with other countries. For example, this year, for me, uh, I am in a collaboration team that are archiving and in this case i i support other countries that need for example reorganize the local archiving okay very good it's like replicating this... it's like replicating what you learn yes kind of. it's is it's different is is a um, different activity, no, additional activity at work and at schedule training. Okay, I see, I see, very interesting. Okay, thank you very much, Carla, thank you. Okay, okay very good information, right? Uh, I was asking Sandra, I guess. So Sandra, what do you prefer, optional or mandatory trainings? <laughs> optional. Optional. <laughs> optional. <laughs> no, I don't know obligation. <laughs> I optional. <laughs> and Natalia is like, yes, optional, optional. <laughs> 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 All right, very good. Uh, it depends, right? I mean, many people prefer optional, but, yeah. but they but, but they but they get in trainings, okay? Yes, Asalia. No, um, I see in occasiones sí son obligation teacher. Yeah, that's right. Okay, it depends on the on the training, I think, right? It depends on the it's type depend. of training. All right, very good. So let's listen to one more opinion, all right? Uh, let's see. Um, let's listen to, let me see here. Ophelia, all right, Ophelia. 
Okay, Ophelia. How often are trainings scheduled in your company? IT morning in the year company I think. How many in the year? ¿Cuántos en el año? How many in the year? Tres. Tres meses. Three. Three. Okay, three. three. You say three trainings a year. Very good. Uh, do you personally, right? Do you attend trainings or do you go to trainings? Um, is impuesto. Ah, it's mandatory. You say it's mandatory. mandatory. It's mandatory. So definitely you attend the trainings, right? Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. Thank you very much, uh, Ophelia. Very good. I mean, I know everybody answers the questions, right? Unfortunately, we can listen to everybody's uh, with the with the uh, to everybody's answers. Sorry. Okay. But thank you very much. So please go to reactions and let's give thumbs up for Ophelia, please. All right. So again, go to reactions and let's give thumbs up for Ophelia. Thank you very much, Ophelia. Carla and 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 was the other? Who más fue que participó? Oscar. Oscar. Okay, and Oscar. Okay, thank you very much for your opinions. All right. Uh, now let's go to um, another activity here. And for the other activity, as always, we have a short conversation. Okay. But it's a very different conversation. It's a very different conversation, okay? So please take a moment and read the information. Two or three minutes, all right? Two or three minutes and read the conversation. And I will ask you some questions about the conversation, okay? okay. Read for comprehension right now, all right? It's not about pronunciation, it's about comprehension. ¿Recuerdan quién está en la sesión 1 a 1 hoy antes de que lo olvide? No. Yes, teacher. Puede ser. Ophelia. ¿Quién es? Ofelia. Sí. Ok. Let me confirm. Let's see. Yes. Mm, I think it's. Mayra. Teacher. Yes. Teacher. Puedo cambiar con alguien para el 16, por 13 o 14 no puedo, yo soy el 13. Para el 16 ya dejamos a Nelson, porque Miguel tomó el espacio de Nelson ayer. Para el 13 y 14 <risa> tenemos a Sandra y tenemos a Yancy. ¿O quién es que quiere cambiar, perdón? No vi quién aparece. Pues Sandra, ¿o quién fue que dijo que quería cambiar? Sorry. Sí, sí, mi Sandra. Sandra está para el... Yo estoy el lunes 13. Se corre una fecha por el día que perdimos, sería el 14. En este caso. Sí. Sería el martes Ajá. 14, no puede tampoco el martes 14. No. Sí, teacher. No. Ya eso es mi... Ok, a mí me toca el 14. Osmi es tomorrow. Ajá, Osmi va mañana. Tomorrow. Ajá, sí, si, si gusta ella, pudiéramos cambiar. Ah, ok. Eh, hace mañana de ella y. Mañana. ¿Qué vaya le toca a ella, perdón? Le toca el. 13. Ah, sería el 14, porque corremos una fecha. El 14. Exacto. El 14. Ajá. Yo voy a anotar acá porque me toca el, el, mañana. Entonces okay. el 14 me tocaría a mí. Si a ella, si ella le parece, le entrego yo mi turno mañana. No, vamos, okay. vaya, voy a, vamos normal entonces. Eh, vamos a ver. Sí, mañana le Hoy toca, ahora le toca a Ofelia. Mañana le toca a Osmin. Ok, entonces mañana estaría Sandra. Ok. Eh, luego el viernes, si no me equivoco, le toca a Rosa. 
el, el lunes 13 le toca, le toca a Sandra, aquí iría Osmin, que el lunes 13. Osmin, lunes 13 sería. Estamos completos, teacher. Teacher, no se vaya. Teacher, usted no está cumpliendo con el horario. Sí. 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 Es mi my, my internet connection, I'm sorry, all right? I don't know why my internet is having problems, serious problems, ok, since yesterday. Desde que me enfermé, como que ni el, inter, como que ni el internet me quiere ya tampoco. También el internet se enferma, teacher. Yes, that's right. Ok, I was saying, right, estaba diciéndoles, um, I was saying that... Um, Osmin quedaría para el 15 entonces. Osmin, all right? Um, yeah, yeah. Yancy continúa el 14, Zulma el 16 y el viernes 17 dejamos a Nelson que quedaría para el último día, ¿ok? Que no está ahora tampoco, creo, o sí. Is Nelson yes, no oh, yes, yes, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Nelson. A uh, Nelson, um, Miguel tomó eh, tu lugar, entonces quedarías para el día 17. Como nos corremos una fecha por la clase que perdimos, ¿ok? Yes, ok. Ok, perfecto. Okay. Entonces yo siempre conservo mi día 14. Sí, todos conservan los días, excepto eh, Osmin y Sandra que cambiaron ahorita. Y Nelson que queda ahorita. para el final. A ah, los demás conservan. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Ok, very good. Okay. As, uh, did you finish uh, reading the conversation? Yeah? Yes or no? Yeah. Yes. yes. All right, yes. let's see. Let me share the screens again. Okay, um, please, in case you have the answer uh, for the questions, okay, in case you have the answer for my question, go to reactions and raise your hand. Okay, go to reactions and raise your hand, all right? Question number one, um, what is Mr. Perez's position in the company? What do you think? What is Mr. Perez's position in the company? Management. Raise your hand first, go to reactions and raise your hand. Please, all right. Okay, it's okay, Sandra. Give Sorry. the answer. Sandra, uh, what is the answer? Creo que va a depender de las planillas. De si ya están listas las planillas para entregarlas a, a inglés corporativo. Creo yo. I'm back. Estoy de regreso. I'm back again. Oh my goodness. No nos habíamos dado cuenta, teacher. Oh. oh my goodness. My internet, my internet. All right. Ya, yeah, no, no se habían dado cuenta que ya están hablando hasta de planillas. <laughs> All right, yeah. Okay. Apply your vocabulary, teacher. Payrolls. En vez de estar practicando, haciéndose preguntas. No, teacher, es que tenemos la, una duda por eso. No, es broma, es broma. Dime, ¿cuál es la duda, Salia? Antes de que sigamos, ¿cuál es la duda? Ah, no, es que, es que según un correo que, que recibimos, ¿verdad, Carlita? Sí, yo no he recibido pues correo. Supuestamente uh -huh. inician las clases el 20 de septiembre nuevamente. Ah, ok. No sabía, no nos han informado nada Pero ahorita. No, no, no. Pero Ajá. cuando nos informen, yo les paso la, la info. Ahorita no nos han dicho nada. Hasta, hasta... Bueno, siempre nos dicen que les recordemos de las fechas. Pero ahorita no nos han dicho nada. Así que cuando nos avisen, yo les paso la info. Pero si ya les cayó el correo de inglés corporativo, esa información es real. Ok, it's real. Sí, es de inglés no, corporativo. No, no. ¿Cuándo terminan no, no. las clases ahorita? Este, ah, este curso, ¿cuándo termina? Terminamos el Friday. otro viernes. Next Friday. El otro viernes, next Friday. Sería el 10 y qué? 17. Ajá, 17. El viernes o sea, 17. Estamos el lunes 20. Exactly. Ok, pero eso es... Eh, a veces siempre dan una, no, no, es not optional, a veces dan como una semana, ¿ok? Para, para recoger los documentos y todo, porque a veces se tardan, ¿verdad? Algunas, 
Ajá, entonces, este, pero si dice que es el 20, seguramente iniciamos el 20, ¿ok? Así que estamos a la expectativa. We are... Michel, yeah. Yeah. Otra consulta, una consulta. <ríe> yeah. Esto mismo. Yeah. Este, este se supone que es el último del, del beginner. Del básico. Ah, del beginner, okay. del básico. Ok. Entonces so ya yeah. es el... Es el intermedio, algo así. ¿verdad? The next is intermediate, exactly. El siguiente okay. es intermedio. The next okay. is intermediate. Okay, very good. Uh, okay, let's continue with the questions. Okay, uh, question number uh, one was who, uh, who is Mr. Perez, right? Or what is Mr. Perez's position? Somebody said uh, manager, I think, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. So what about Sandra said manager, I think. What about the others? What do you think? Uh, what about the others? What do you think? Do you think he is a manager or he has it's a different a, position? It's a human resource. He's a human resources, what? Specialist, uh, specialist or generalist. Coordinator. Coordinator, uh, all right, or, coordinator. Yes, of, of hiding. Mm -hmm. Okay, <laughs> very good. Very good. Second question. We, I mean, we don't know, right? We don't have the information, but we can speculate, okay? Very good. Question number two. Who is new in the company, Mr. Perez or Jackie? Jackie. Jackie, okay, Jackie is new in the company. Very good, that's excellent. Raise your hand first, don't forget. <laughs> All right, next question. Uh, the next question is, um, what does Karen need to know about the company? What does Karen, Jackie, sorry, oh my God, Karen. What does Jackie need to know about the company? What does Jackie need to know about the company? Okay, let's see Sulma. Uh, need to... Uh, about procedure to request training. Ah, very good. She needs to know about the procedures to request a training. training. Okay, next question. Thank you, Sulma. Uh, but I mean... She doesn't know the procedures, obviously, right? Okay, but is Mr. Perez going to explain the procedures? Is Mr. Perez going to explain the procedures? Rosa? Yes. Yes, yes. definitely, yes. all right? Yes. Yes, because yes. He, she, no, he said. He, he says. He says. Uh -huh. Let me explain. Let me explain this to you. This All right, you. thank you. This to you, excellent. Very good, okay, thank you very much. Now listen, I will pronounce the conversation twice. So please listen and pay attention to the pronunciation. Good morning, this is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez, this is Jackie. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company, you are part of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures to request training? I am afraid I don't, sir. Okay, let me explain this to you. First, blah, blah, blah. Listen again. Good morning, this is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez, this is Jackie. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie, your company. You are part of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedures to request training? I am afraid I don't, sir. Okay, let me explain this to you. First, blah, blah, blah. All right, now let's listen to other participations, okay? People who haven't participated today. Gloria and Darwin. Darwin, Mr. Perez, Gloria, Jackie. Okay, I'm a start. Good morning, this is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Jackie. I heard just coming, coming, coming. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company. You are part of our family now. Thanks a lot, a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the producer? To request training? I am afraid I don't see. Okay, let me explain. Did you, did you, first, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, 
<laughs> I, I mean, it's a, I said blah, 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 because there is more information, right? But it's, it's okay, all right? I'm better, Darwin. <laughs> <laughs> okay, thank you very much. Okay, now let's listen to Nelson and Michelle. Speak, okay? speak, speak. <laughs> Nelson, you are Mr. Perez and Jackie, uh, you are, uh, and Michelle, you are Jackie, okay? Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Jackie. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company. You are part of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedure to request training? I'm afraid. I don't know, sir. Okay, let me explain. Let me explain this to you first. Okay. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you very much. All right. Um, okay. Thank you, um, Nelson and Michelle. Thank you very much. Uh, just a quick question before I select another pair. Um, I have just come in. I have just come in. How do you say this in Spanish? I have just come in. Yo solo venía llegando. Acabo de llegar. Acabo de ingresar. Acabo de ingresar. I mean to the new job, right? Al nuevo trabajo. I have just come in. O acabo de entrar. O ingresar, okay? Okay, thank you very much. So let's listen to another uh, pair. Let's listen to um, <clears throat> Angela. Angela and and in and, and Mayra, okay, and Mayra. Okay. Mayra, you are Mr. Perez. Angela, you are Jackie. Okay. Okay. Good morning. This is Mr. Perez. Hello, Mr. Perez. This is Jackie. I have just come in. Welcome to our company, Jackie. Your company. You are part of our family now. Thanks a lot, sir. You're welcome. Do you know the procedure to request training? I am on fire. I don't know, sir. Okay. Let me explain this to you. First, blah, 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 blah. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Teacher, uh, your micro... Your co micro. Your microphone, microphone is off. My microphone was <laughs> off. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, I like the blah, blah, blah. Okay, thank you uh, very much. Okay, for the last participations, Mayra and uh, Angela, right? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, so the pronunciation for this word is request. Okay, request, request, request. And for this one, the pronunciation for this one is Procedures, okay? Procedures, procedures, procedures. All right, very good. Now uh, we are going to the next activity and the next activity is on page number 34. And on page number 34, you have some procedures, okay? Or you have a procedure, sorry. You have a procedure to request a training, okay? This procedure is at RC company, okay? RC company. And you have first blah, blah, blah. Okay, so please take a moment and read the information. Take a moment and read the procedure. I give you four minutes, all right? Read the procedure quickly. What is request? Do you remember? What is request? Solicitud. Solicitar. Solicitar. solicitar, solicitar, okay? It can be solicitud, but in this case, it's solicitar, okay? So procedure to request training. Procedimiento para solicitar una capacitación o un entrenamiento, okay? And you have the, the procedure. So please read the procedure. Read the procedure.
Okay, uh, okay, let's see. Um, so here we have the procedure to request training. Okay, let's check uh, the first step or step number one. Okay, uh, first choose the training you are interested in uh, listed on the bulletin board. Uh, what is bulletin board? What is bulletin board? Tabla. Tabla. Bulletin. Tabla. Bulletin. Bulletin. Como anuncio. Se pone la información. Okay. How do you... La tabla informa. La pizarra informativa. Exactly. Pizarra informativa. Ah, pizarrón informativo. Pizarra informativa. The bulletin board. That's right. It's where you put all the information. Okay. About trainings. About all the all the important information about the the company. Okay. Step number two. Check with the talent management consultant if you can take the training. So this is easy, right? Number three, send a note requesting your participation. Four, write the name of the training you need. Five, specify the date and hours of instruction for the training. Number six, mention the place where the event will take place. What is take place? What is take place? Evento. It says mention the place where the event will take place. Donde se llevará a cabo el evento. Exactly, exactly. Donde se llevará a cabo. Llevar a cabo o suceder, okay? That is take place. So mention the place or the location where the event or the training will take place. Se llevará a cabo, okay? The event. Number seven, specify the price of the training, the money or the cost, the cost of the training, okay? Number eight, send it to the human resources department. Nine, make sure to include all the information requested. And finally, number 10, if information is missing in the note, we will not authorize any training. Authorize, the pronunciation for this is Authorize, all right, authorize, missing, very good. Now, uh, these are, uh, or this is a procedure in RC company to request a training, okay? But in your company, maybe it's different, right? But now let's see, uh, let's listen to number one, load this. Read step number one, please. Okay, uh, first choose the training you are interested in listed on the bulletin board. Thank you very much. Asalia, number two, step number two. Check with the talent manage, management consultant if you can take the training. Excellent, very good. Uh, now let's listen to uh, Sulma, number three. Send a note requesting your participation. Very good. Miguel, number number four. Write the name of the training you need. Very good. Ada, number five. Specify the date and the hours of instruction. Very good. Uh, let's listen to, uh, let me see who else I have here. Osmin, number six. Number six mentioned the place where the event will take place. Excellent. The event. Okay, the event. The event. The event. Okay. Very good. Uh, uh, Susana, okay. Susana, number seven. <clears throat> number seven, specify the price of the training. Continue with number eight, Susana. Send it to the human resource department. Number okay. nine. No, it's okay. Uh, number eight. Okay. Thank you. Thank you, Susana. Okay, okay Rafael, number nine. <clears throat> Make sure to include all the information requests. Okay, thank you very much. Okay, now let's listen to Darwin with the last one. If information... Verse 10. If information is missing in the notes, we will not authorize any training. Okay, very good, that's excellent. Now listen, uh, these are some, uh, I mean, this is a procedure, but here on this space, all right, on this space, let me look for the pen here. I want you to pay attention carefully here. I know you always pay attention, but here I want you to pay more attention, okay? 
because I will ask you some questions about this. Here on this space, we have some uh, types of trainings, okay? Some types of trainings. For example, we have excellent customer service, improving computer skills, effective communication, all right? Learning about writing skills is another training. Another training is organizing time. And the last one, creating websites, which is about technology, okay? Here we have five different trainings. I will close this. And now the question is, okay, uh, besides these trainings, what other trainings do you take in your company? What other trainings do you take in your company? Don't tell me, okay, don't tell me, think. What other trainings do you take in your company? If you want to take notes, okay? At least I want to see three trainings, at least. Three trainings, at least. So the question is, what other trainings do you take in your company? Okay, so please take a moment and write three trainings, at least. Si quieren escribir más, no hay problema, okay? There's no problem. But I request three, okay? Three trainings. I will, I will change the question, but because maybe uh, you don't take the trainings I mentioned on the photocopy, okay, or on the, on the material. Maybe you take other trainings. So the question will be, what trainings do you take in your company? What trainings do you take in your company, okay? And you mentioned three, at least, okay? Three, at least. Are you ready? Not yet? Okay. Two minutes, all right? You don't need to explain the trainings here. You don't need to explain the trainings. Only write the training, okay? For example, you can say, what? Excel training, Excel. Excel training because this is very important in a company, right? Excel training or client service or customer service training, okay? Uh, on page number 34, you have some trainings, right? You have some examples about trainings, okay? On activity five, page number 34, you have some ideas.
Okay, are you ready now? You are still investigating vocabulary about the trainings, no? Are you ready? Well, in the meantime, porque veo que varios, varios todavía están trabajando. Let me pass the attendance. Voy a pasar asistencia la última vez. Let me pass the attendance the last time. Okay, Ada? Present. Adriana? Ana Michelle? Present. Angela? Present, teacher. Azalia? Present. Darwin? Present, teacher. Flor? Gloria? Here. Carla? Present. Margarita? Mayra? Present. Miguel. Present. Nelson. Present teacher. Ofelia. Here teacher. Osmin. Here teacher. Rafa. Present. Rosa. Present. Sandra. Present teacher. Jansi. Present teacher. Zulma. Present. Ingrid. Lourdes. Lourdes. Present teacher, present. All right, Oscar. Present. And Susana. Present. Okay, thank you teacher. very much. Yeah. I'm present. I'm present. Um, I'm here. All but right. I Okay, Margarita, thank you. I'm dating. <laughs> it's okay. All right, thank you very much. Okay, so uh, so the question is, what trainings do you take in your company? Okay, that's the question. Listen carefully. What trainings do you take in your company? You can say take or attend. Okay, the two forms are correct. What trainings do you take or attend in your company, all right? So I will give you four minutes uh, then to go and practice this question and you listen to your classmates, okay? Uh, for this, we will make uh, big groups, but listen. The idea is that when you listen to your classmates, you can say, for example, uh, oh, Rosa, uh, we take the same trainings because I take uh, the, what? The technology training too, you can say, or or maybe you can say, oh, Rosa, uh, we take different trainings because in my case, you can say, I take uh, communication skills trainings, okay, not technology trainings, yeah? So try to agree or disagree. Traten de estar de acuerdo o en desacuerdo, okay? Bueno, tal vez, traten de ver si son iguales o diferentes, Try right? To see if, if you take the same trainings or different trainings, okay? And give your opinion, I repeat. Imagine I practice with Rosa and Rosa says, um, I take technology trainings. And I can say, oh, Rosa, in my case, uh, I take the same trainings. I take technology trainings. Or I can say, oh, Rosa, in my case, I take different trainings. Because you can say, uh, I take communication skills trainings or other trainings, okay? Yeah. Any question? No? The yeah. idea is that it becomes a discussion, okay? La idea es que se vuelva una discusión. Not only listening, 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 no. To be, uh, I mean, the idea is that for it to become a discussion, okay? So let's take four minutes for this discussion. Ready? Yes. Ready? Yes. And just let me recreate, okay? And let's yes, go to practice. Ready. 
Okay, let's go to practice. Hello. Uh -huh. Hello, Rafael. Hello. Sulma, okay. uh -huh. what? Yeah, what? 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 Oh my God. <laughs> what, what okay. type of training do you attend? Uh, um. Anna Michelle, Angela, or me, Lourdes. You, you Lourdes. Um, <laughs> uh, in my case, uh, in my company, learning to use um, the science tools, uh, but in general, in general, for example, um, in in the last year, I learning uh, to use. Um, I se me olvidó el nombre. Um, ay, por Dios, se me olvidó el nombre. Qué barbaridad. Yes, the same tools. I don't remember the the name. And the other uh, training. Uh, I learning to use uh, or to to um, to know to know about import and export. For example, uh, the um, inco terms and other um, items about that topic. Only that. Okay. And you and Michelle, similar, what type? Hold on. Similar or different? The idea is to have a discussion. So you can say, oh, Lourdes, okay. I, have, uh -huh. I take similar trainings because, or you can say, oh, Lourdes, I take different trainings because I take mm -hmm. technology or I don't know. Mm -hmm. Ah, but she said design, right? Okay. Design tools. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 A discussion, <laughs> all right. Okay, Lourdes. Uh, <laughs> is similar I, or different? I, I take different, different. Uh, I take different trainings because I learn about structural killing, inventory administration, and occupational security. In this case, the first aid begin. Okay. And you, Michelle? And you, Angela? And Michelle? In my <laughs> case, I have different trainings because in my company, uh, we have trainings about uh, work ethics, uh, anti-money laundering, oh, okay. fraud, and sex controls. So it's very different. It's a similar. Yes, the, project management. Project management, yes. Mm -hmm. uh, I think this is a general training. And, and it, this is a training is the general of my company because mm -hmm. I have a independent training of uh, the in my area, in my in my job specific, I have a training of database. I have training of um, uh, programming. Um, this is a speci specific trainings. Yes. In my case, we receive this training because uh, we execution many pro projects 
uh, related to ET uh, products. Okay, okay, excellent, excellent. Execute. Uh, Execute. Execute. How many how many trainings yeah. have have you in the in the year? Um the AT department, many trainings. No, only you, only you. Ah, uh, me and nueve. Page 99. 29. 29. Hello, teacher. <laughs> ah, see, sí. watch these videos about employees' job descriptions. Yes, it's a video in, in, in YouTube, but it's excellent. Oh. Yes, oh. only the word. Talk oh. about the word, the procedure. Yeah. Watch, watch this video about. A Count and Joe, I hear better. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Okay, lo, lo excellent. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Teacher, only training is different than the, the my college because okay. it's different area in the world. Okay, I imagine. So no For similar example, no similar trainings for anybody. No, nada. no. Okay. For example, uh, Osmin is the security, only security is a trial area. Yeah. area, yes. In me, is technology. In Myra, is business. Very yeah. different. Commercial. Commercial, <laughs> okay. Yeah. Very different areas, right? Different. Yeah, I, I see why your trainings are different. Okay, everyone. Um, okay, thank you very much for... Uh, comparing okay the trainings you take or you attend during the year or i don't know right maybe during the week or during the month okay so i could see that some people have different trainings and some people have similar uh, trainings okay which is okay which is okay i mean it depends on the on the area you work okay so everybody um it's time all right ya les robé cuatro minutos i got four minutes from you just one thing quickly solo un recordatorio rápido <laughs> Sorry. Uh, solo algo okay. rápidamente. Sorry, sorry. No, 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 teacher, no. Ok. Ok, um, bueno, solo hacer el recordatorio que el día jueves terminamos eh, semana. Ok, así que para el día jueves antes de la sesión debe estar completa la sección número 3. Ok, por ahí Ángela tenía unas dudas acerca de una oración que hay que quitarle el que era, que, quita, uh, que, que teníamos que quitarle, Ángela. Um, right. Oh, right mistake. now. Uh, right now. Right now. Uh, right now. 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 Right Right now. 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 Okay, so you, you, you better check that. Revisan eso, okay? So everybody, thank you very much for connecting today. See you tomorrow. Se conectan, no celebran sí, mucho sí, el gane de la selecta. Mañana se conectan. Pues, se conectan, se conectan Miguel, Miguel. Miguel. Sí. Logramos no, llegar a la clase. No se vayan, a, no se vayan a celebrar. Yo no tengo permiso. No va a poder ir Miguel. No, no. Pero es antes. Es before. Ya está bien. No me voy a ir a celebrar. Okay. Okay, everybody. Uh, so thank you very much. Good night. Good Bye and take care. Good night. 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 Tomorrow. Good night. 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 Good Ah, yo le quería hacer una pregunta. Es que a mí me Adelante. Cuesta Adelante. Hacer preguntas. Preguntas me cuestan hacer. Ah, le, eh, ¿Te cuesta hacer preguntas en inglés? Sí. Ah, ok. Muy bien. Very good. Ah, por ejemplo, ¿qué tipo de preguntas? Mm, digamos, si yo le quiero preguntar, ¿dónde trabajo? Uh -huh. Ok. Uh -huh. Muy bien. Sí, eh, básicamente eh, aquí en esa parte, 
lo que tenemos que manejar son verbos, principalmente debemos saber verbos, saber verbos, qué verbos vamos a utilizar, manejar verbos, ¿verdad? En general, como tener, eh, supervisar, verbos en general, mayormente verbos que podemos usar, verbos comunes, ¿ok? Y aparte de eso, debo ver en qué tiempo estoy hablando. Normalmente venimos usando el presente simple. Y el preguntas con el verbo to be o usando las WH questions. Vaya, voy a, voy a dar algunos ejemplos por acá. Okay. Vaya. Por ejemplo, si vamos a hacer una pregunta en, en presente simple. Ok. Mm -hmm. Ok, hold on a second. Solo regálenme un segundo. Solo, de, solo déjame traer el lapicero, el lapicero para, para poder escribir, ¿ok? Yo sí me sé que... Ok. Ok, um, all right. I'm sorry, es que necesitaba este lapicero para escribir en la pantalla porque, bueno, de donde queda muy gruesa la letra. Okay. En ahí, y no lo tenía cerca. Ok, uh, so first, si vamos a hablar de una pregunta en simple present, ok, que es el, como el tiempo más, más común, all right, uh, which is simple, simple, um, simple uh, present, ok. Lo primero que tenemos que considerar es que si le voy a hacer la pregunta a alguien, Voy a usar el do. El do. El do. ¿Ok? Do you. Ese es el paso número uno. Do you. Y luego acá en este espacio voy a usar un verbo que puede ser cualquier verbo. Por ejemplo, uh, do you... En este caso voy a poner supervise. Do you supervise y luego va un complemento. ¿Ok? En esta parte va un complemento. A complemento. ¿Ok? Por ejemplo, do you supervise... Um, Employees, let's say. Okay, employees. Muy bien. Vaya, si te fijas. Employees. Vaya, si te fijas, las diferentes partes de la pregunta que yo he agregado son. Primero, pongo el auxiliar. Lo voy a subrayar con otro color. Pongo el auxiliar do. Ok. Si sí, le voy a preguntar a alguien. Ok. En este caso, el auxiliar do primero. Luego va el pronombre. Hola, Ofelia. Lo siento, se me... Lo siento, tengo problemas con él. el internet, Sí, vaya, ah, estaba con el do, ¿ok? Primero el do, luego you, ah, then we said, ¿qué, qué dijimos luego? Y después supervise. Ajá, supervise. Supervise. Supervise, and then I'll say employees, right? Employees. Employees, for example, ¿ok? Do you supervise employees? Y tengo una pregunta. Vaya, estaba escribiendo, estaba describiendo las partes de la pregunta. Va, sí. Primero tenemos el auxiliar do, que eso debe ir. Do. Luego va el you. Do. Que aquí puede ir cualquier otro pronombre. Puede ser you, we, they, he, she, it. ¿Ok? Luego va un verbo. Hello, Ophelia. ¿Me escuchas? Ay, Ofelia. Hello, teacher. Hello. Hello, lo siento mucho. Hasta ahorita le agarró al, al internet de fallar más y más y más. Y esto que no está lloviendo. Ok. Creo que lo voy a hacer así de forma oral mejor para que no est se esté cortando la pizarra. Vaya, lo primero que necesitamos es usar el do, do. Y luego puede ser el pronombre que es you, do you, do you. Y luego le puedo poner supervise, do you supervise. Luego después de you va el verbo. O puede ser cualquier verbo, el verbo que tú quieras usar. Si yo digo do you supervise, estoy preguntando tú supervisas. Tú supervisas, pero ya en forma de pregunta. Do you supervise. Y luego employees, que son los empleados, que es un pequeño complemento. Uh -huh. 
Hola, Ofelia. Teacher, ¿tiene para el micrófono? Perdón, Ofelia, voy a cambiar la conexión ahorita antes de que iniciemos. Tal vez nos funciona mejor con el teléfono. Va a estar. Sí, es que es demasiado problema. Too many problems. Hold on a second. ¿Me escuchas, Ofelia? Sí. Yes, teacher. Ok, creo que está mejor con el teléfono. Sí. Ok. Veamos, a ver si funciona mejor. Sí, eh, si es una pregunta en presente simple, que es la que comúnmente estamos usando, usamos el do primero, do. Luego el pronombre, que sería you. Luego el verbo, que podría ser cualquier verbo, supervise, puede ser check, email, o puede ser listen to, escuchar, ¿ok? Do you. Do you supervise personnel? Do you listen to music? Do you check email? Do you play soccer? Do you... ¿Cuál puede ser otro verbo? Dime otro verbo. Dance. Do you dance, exactly. ¿Otro verbo de los que hemos estudiado? Uh, uh, run. Correct. Do you run? Do you run, exactly. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Ahí va ese verbo. Depende del verbo que voy a usar. ¿Ok? Uh -huh. Esa es una pregunta básica. Tú corres, tú juegas, o tú... Limpias la oficina, do you clean the office, for example, do you, siempre va a ser do you, para sí. preguntarle a alguien, ¿ok? Ok. ¿Ya? Y normalmente son sí. las preguntas que usamos directamente. Sí. sí, sí, sí. Ahora bien, si quiero usar preguntas acerca de, ¿eres tú, por ejemplo? ¿O estás tú? Voy a decir, are you? Are you. Ah, ¿Eres tú, por ejemplo, una supervisora? Y voy a decir, are you? Are okay. you a supervisor? Are you a supervisor? ¿Eres tú una supervisora o un supervisor? ¿Ok? Are you? ¿Ok? O are you happy? Are you angry? Are you? ¿Ok? ¿Estás tú o eres tú? Are you? Okay. Y en el caso de las... Eh, con el where y todo eso, es lo mismo. Solo le agregamos estas palabras. Pero lo primero es saber qué significa cada una de ellas. Uh -huh. ¿Qué significa? Ajá, por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir... ¿Qué? ¿Dónde trabajas? La, sigue la misma estructura. Where y luego do you work? Do you work? La misma estructura de la pregunta. Do you work? Ajá, el do, el you y luego el verbo. Where do you work? O when, por ejemplo, cuando. When do you work? ¿Cuándo trabajas? When do you work? O what? Ok, uh, what do you do? ¿Qué haces? What do you do? Sigue la misma estructura. Excepto que le ponemos ya sea el what, el where o el when al principio. Pero debemos saber qué significa cada uno para utilizarlo correctamente. Para utilizarla. Correctamente, debo manejarlos. Uh -huh. Sí, sí, sí. Ok. Ok, no sé si tienes alguna otra pregunta. Otra pregunta, Pichero. ¿Cómo hago para que, para, digamos, cuando me están preguntando, en veces no entiendo lo que me están preguntando? Sí, lo, sí, yo he notado en ti, eh, lo que yo noto es que te falta mucho vocabulario. Y aparte de eso, todos tienen la facilidad de que al momento de crear una, de resolver una actividad, todos se van al traductor de Google, es lo que hacen todos de un solo, a buscar lo que van a decir. Y lo que veo es que en tu caso a veces no has como convertido la actividad en inglés y la dices en español. La, dices la respuesta de lo que estamos discutiendo, pero lo dices en español, no lo dices en inglés. Entonces, lo que yo no sé si usas eh, alguna aplicación para ir a traducir lo que quieres decir en inglés cuando trabajamos sí. en alguna actividad. Sí. sí, el traductor. El traductor de Google. Ajá. Sí, sí, porque veo que a veces tienes dificultades. Lo que yo sí siento es que debes aprender mucho vocabulario, mucho vocabulario. Sí. Eh, como ponerte una meta, ¿ok? De, me voy a aprender tantas palabras al día del material que estoy estudiando, tantas palabras, tantas palabras cada día. Y repetirlas, repetirlas y pronunciarlas, ¿ok? Ajá, sí, pero la idea es vocabulario ahorita, mucho vocabulario. Sí, teacher. Gracias, teacher. Ok, no problem. Ok, bye bye, good night. Bye bye, goodbye. Bye bye.